Fubar here, and today we are doing an officer tier list and pairing list for the SH and the light tank. The reason why I'm including the, the SH in this is because there's not many pairings, and honestly, I don't. I've never really cared for the unit. I felt like it was a very lackluster unit that couldn't really be practical in most sense. I know this might hurt some feelings, but this is my opinion on the unit because of what the unit represents and I don't like waste and where the SH unit is is very durable and it can fire off powerful shots but the shots are spaced out by four seconds at a time and also it's too slow on the battlefield for my play style it might fit yours but it doesn't fit mine but I am going to recover it regardless so when you first load into the game for the S, this is going to be start. We're starting with the SH unit. So when you first load into the game and you have the legacy officers in front of you, the pairing for the SH goes up to 300 days. But in the beginning, you're going to want to use Spanner, who is in the in the beginning is an S tier officer and he stays S tier all the way through. And you can use Angel of Light who at that time with the SH would be considered an A tier because she's geared towards infantry, but she will provide a double heal when comboed with Spanner. Another strong choice to go with this combo, which will be a solid A tier, would be Percy because you can awaken her for free and you can save the statues that you would use on Angel of Light on per on spanner and awaken him faster now once you get past that the next pairing that is the strongest and also is s tier because it can be used on multiple units is going to be steel fighter who is opened up at 182 days with spanner she gives you a t when she's awakened. She gives you thirty percent damage resist against officer skills on base, and provides a two two thousand shield coefficient, which is huge. And her other skills are all meant for defense, so they're all very valuable. When we hit three hundred days, we get Thorn Countess, who. Is still a very solid officer and is very defensive, like like Steel Fighter. However, she has officer skill damage reduction on that unit, so that is more potent in that sense. But on the opposite sense, she also provides a shield. That will go up to 1500 damage coefficient and provide a firepower buff of units that are within the radius grid of one. When she's also awakened and she is an S tier officer, she re the base re it reduces damage received by normal attacks by 10%. So that's huge. And she also provides a shield towards the base. Another pairing you can do at this point in time is her and Spanner or her and Steel Fighter. Now, I personally would recommend her with Spanner, but I don't have her awakened to test that theory out. But I've seen a lot of people use her with Steel Fighter, and also I've seen people use her in conjunction with Spanner. So that is my pairings for the SH and the tier list. Now on to the light tank. At your first 180, well, you're at your first legacy moment in the game. Light tanks are not really meta. That's the right word for it. Because in the beginning of the game, they're very squishy, but they are insanely fast. They're squishy all the way through, but they become more potent the higher your tier goes in evolution. They're meant for hit-and-run attacks. They're, they're a high micromanaged unit. 
They are excellent against taking out AFK rallies, artillery units, and the, the for a long time the before modern units they were actually a meta unit because their fast fire rate could overpower an SH unit and other units based off based off their, their attack speed and their movement speed. So no, no unit could run away from them. They couldn't really get away, but they were very squishy, especially when encountering uh, artillery pieces as like uh, like the howitzers in, in specific. I mean, they used to love hunting uh, rocket launchers with the light tank. But in the beginning... The strongest combo I can think of right off the gate would be, and, I, and I'm going to rate these officers, it will be War Machine, who is an S-tier officer. And he's still, in my opinion, an S-tier officer. All his skills are valuable. He has solid damage. He does a good damage coefficient. You can unlock him for free and awaken him. Now, the next officer I would pair him with as the leader would be Tip of Spear. Tip of Spear reduces the officer's skill prep time and also provides good defense with blast damage resist and damage resist. And also, he increases the firepower by 20%, and he also gives a firepower buff to friendly units within two map grids. So this is huge. And he also increases the damage of the troop by 25%, for four seconds. So this is a very potent combo. So that in this case and scenario for a white tank. He would be considered an S tier officer in the beginning. But he will fall down over time to an A tier officer. He'll still be valuable. But he will be more in a support role than anything. <clears throat> so the next combination I would use in conjunction of this. Is actually going to be War Machine. And Death Adder, because Death Adder is very solid, very strong, very potent. His Thunder Armor reduces the damage resist of the target unit. He gives you a speed increase slightly when his skill prep, prep fires off. He gives a bonus damage. He has a good solid balance skill that increases the, I believe it's the HP. Let me check that real quick. Nope, he get yeah, HP. He gives a 15% HP buff and a 5% firepower buff. He gives a penetration damage boost of 40%. Very solid. But however, his his officer skill lacks in damage. So you, to make up for that damage, it's the Sunder Armor takes effect. Now, the next officer I would recommend with this with this combination would be uh, tip of spear and also death adder or death adder and war machine or war machine with bloody mary because she increases unit speed she has a troop damage increase she has a passive heal and she disorients the enemy and when she's awakened she reduce, stops the prep time by for one second and also prevents them from attacking you. So this is huge, even though her skill damage is low. So you can technically use her also with Tip of Spear, and this is a very solid and potent combo. Now, if you are a spender, I would recommend Guardian of Truth also with Tip of Spear or Guardian of Truth with Death Adder or Guardian of Truth with Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary will always be an A-tier officer, though. And Guardian of Truth will be an S-tier officer. So, and he will stay an S-tier officer all the way through to 300 days. He is S-tier all the way. The next combo, I want to, oh, wait. Hold on, I missed a combo. Or you could put Guardian of Truth with War Machine. These are all potent combos. The next combo I would use would involve the new officer tiger marauder once he's awakened he gives a firepower buff he gives a, a troop damage a damage resist of 15 percent, and he also gives a passive heal and in the beginning of the game 
he will have the highest damage coefficient on awakened skill. So he would be very potent with, again, um, what's his name? Tip of Spear, Guardian of Truth, Death Adder, Bloody Mary. Very potent, very strong. But as he goes on, his skills stay valuable and would be an A-tier officer. Now, the next combo is an old combo that is tried and true, very potent. You get Huntsman from the Moscow event. Once you get him and you awaken him, he is very potent. His main skill is that it does it used to do the most damage in the beginning as an as a legacy officer, but his awakened skill freezes the unit in place so that way they can't move. And that was very potent. He also has the opposite balance skill of Death Adder where his firepower is 15% and his HP is 5%. He has a passive heal. And he also offers a damage resist of 15%. So with him, a lot of people like to combo him in the earlier versions of the game with Bloody Mary. Another potent combo would be him, tip of, tip of Spear, and him. Or Huntsman, War Machine, or Huntsman, Guardian of Truth if you're a spender, or Huntsman and Tiger Marauder, or Huntsman, and also Death Adder. These are all very potent combos that will work. And because the Light Tank is a very versatile unit, this really helps. Once you hit 182 days, you get access to two officers that are very potent and very, and they pretty much will run the show all the way through. And that will be Valkyrie and also Golden Eagle. This is the best pairing. They're both S-Class officers. And they are still S-Class all the way through to 300 days because the Light Tank is a hit-and-run unit. And you're going to be hitting a lot of targets that have a lot more heavy armor. The pairing with Valkyrie with her passive sund Sundered Armor ability like um, Death Adder really comes to shine where it reduces the target's damage resist. And also with, compared with paired with also Golden Eagle's tactical skill, you gain a lot of extra damage against beefier targets such as SH units, MBTs, and even helicopters. So this really is potent, and it gives you a chance of crit, and it also gives you base damage resist, damage resist, tank and helicopter damage, and also he deals 20% extra damage with normal attacks, and the normal attacks will ignore 10% of the enemy's damage resist. So that is a huge pairing. A huge pairing for a light tank. Now, on to 300 days, once you have this open, and I'm not counting exclusive officers, but you could use Professor Payne with Valkyrie or Professor Payne with Golden Eagle, and it would be a very good skill if you're a spender. Um, but I would recommend, you can also do Whipcracker and Golden Eagle, Whipcracker and Valkyrie. Whipcracker is another S-tier officer for a light tank because of her retrain time. Her She's a defensive. She gives a shield. She does 1,500 damage coefficient. She is a must-have officer. I also plan on awakening her. She can reduce the damage, so that way it, she's a defensive officer that will do damage on par with other offensive officers. Very valuable. So keep that in mind. Now, I wouldn't recommend Steel Fighter with her. I wouldn't recommend Thorn Countess on a on a on a light tank. But Whipcracker and Lady J is another potent combo, and Whip and Lady J with also Golden Eagle is another potent combo. Lady J and Valkyrie would be another potent combo as well. However. Lady J is often looked over 
by the community because a lot of officers came out in short succession after her. So how you, what Lady J does is when her, her tactical skill, she reduces the target's damage by 50% for four seconds, which will prevent your target from running away. Does 1500 damage coefficient. Then she increases the firepower of the troop by 30% and gives you an active 5% uh, firepower boost when you're fighting within your own alliance's territory. The next thing to consider about this is that she also has a critical chance of dealing 150% up to 15%. She also offers one of the uh, one of two officers to have it 20% damage resist in the game, which is one of the highest. And then her awakened skill in is just like her tactical skill, but it also it slows the speed down by 50% for 6 seconds instead of 4. And it also increases troop damage and speed by 15% for 6 seconds. Very potent, very damaging. And you can use her with any of these officers I mentioned before, and it would be a very devastating combo. So that is it for the video today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also let me know what you guys want to see in the future as well. Because And jo please join the Discord that will be in the description below. Like I said, I'm trying to build a community and a hub for all the information you need on Warpath. And you, that way it's all there and it access of a quick link. So please, come and join the Discord. I'd love to have you. Can't wait to see you. Fubar out. Peace.